I don't know, it's got Wessex blades for the final reveal. There's still a Kydex job to do, but uh, here's it's Dave's full on shoulder carry. There's the sort of link it is at the moment. Uh, size 11 hands, apparently, which is a little bit larger than my hands. So, span wise, I've slightly increased that on about a 10. So, slightly over my grip size as well. bit more of a finish than I normally do. Again, experimenting, trying to raise the gain. Murder sharp section in there for ferro rod and bark scraping. Different standard of finish again. Up and up and up and it. Slightly rounded the back. Oh yeah. Can catch a light. Bevel there. mirror edge on it and the handle was um, London plain but a crazy sport on it absolutely insane yeah sheep itself He wanted a widgeon in flight, um, and even with having as wide a sheaf um, layout as possible, this is the sort of size I could do, so rather than have one on there, I filled it up with three differing widgeon in flight motifs, all tooled out, coloured, raised, tooled, smooth. Sculpted. And he wanted the Spartan tool in front and back. Stitching. Stitching on the back. Getting to be a bit of a maker's mark on the back for the uh, belt loop sort of arrangement I've got, so there's no stitching across that way. And I'm turning that into a W lately for something. W. It's not where I went out yet. Um, and then all this crazy hardware. Yeah, ferro rod I put up there. I thought I'd rather have it down here and just upset the lines. I put it up there on a, the shock cord and a bit more. Rather than just a retainer that's a loop, I get a little bit more substance to it by folding it back on itself. So, my own version of what a retainer is for the strap. Um, I might do it the other way around this time, next time, um, with the overlaps coming down this way. Um, but it, this is a, a sort of a leftover from Chris's where he wanted his uh, sheaf up there. So I'm, I'm using the, the retainer as actual tool position up here. So it would have been Chris Alley's knife and this is Dave's uh, ferro rod mount. So maybe I'll end up down there, I don't know, in the future for other builds. The shoulder strap is double thickness and set with the adhesive into this lay over the shoulder. So it just sits nice and comfortably. Stitch through, not riveted. Put that at a slight angle to, to kick it around on the behind the back so it, it sits nice when it comes through. If you under 
stand I'm just sort of slightly throwing it that way but yeah an enormous job I hope Dave likes it I hope it's near to his you know it, people's mind's eye they envisage how it's going to be um, but what was technically one tooling and that I've given him three just because I think it's got a little bit more um, the look looks, looks more complete than a widget on there you can't really fill up the page because it's, it's, the, the shape that the bird is it wouldn't have um, you know I couldn't make it any larger than the size it is because of the room that I've got in any way that the wings are orientated um, so I decided on going with three uh, slightly different sizes so there's, there's a sense of perspective the one in the middle is closer that one's mid, that one's furthest away um, yeah thanks for joining me again that's the finished article there's a codex to do uh, but uh, yeah if anybody's interested in one please email on my uh, Wessex Blades UK yahoo.com um, let's say when I priced this up for Dave this was about six months ago so I hope he, uh, hope he gets some great value out of this for the effort I've put in thanks for joining me again Scott Voice Explains